everybody and welcome back to another video. We might just have a new update on the Return of the Wings of Fire series and it being back in further production. There's a lot to get into in this video and I can't wait to share the hopeful news of what's next. It looks like the show is going to be repitched pretty soon. But before we begin, a huge shout out to my patrons. Drug1195, Three Moons, Slightest Wild, and Fizz. Thank you all so much for supporting me. Links to social medias are in the description down below. Anyway, so further ado, let's get into the video. At the very beginning of October, at a fan event, Tui dropped some major bombshells of Wings of Fire news. She confirmed an arc 4, discussed returning stories, characters, and future content, and gave us an update on the Wings of Fire series. The Netflix show has gone through an incredibly rough time with its development. Years ago, it was greenlit by Netflix and work started on it, although we don't really, at the time, we didn't really know how far they got. There was a storyboard leak at one point that got taken down, proving its authenticity, as well as tons of background and asset leaks. Concept art of the kingdom, scrolls, and other things were revealed when they weren't allowed to be. These all got out when the show was unfortunately cancelled. Netflix threw down the hammer on a ton of animated projects in order to save money, and Wings of Fire show was one of the things they axed. It was an incredibly frustrating and sad day for all Law fans, and a very bad choice for Netflix. The series already had fans who would watch it, so they didn't even need to get a fan base from scratch. But regardless, Netflix gave up the project, and all that work was erased. We were left with no updates for over a year. It seemed like all hope was lost. But then, out of nowhere, Tui brought the show back in discussion, and told us she was actively looking for a new streaming service for the show to go on. It was such a great and helpful day, but then for over another year, we got nothing. And then for those unaware, there was an actors and writers strike recently that halted production on nearly every single project out there. The Wings of Fire show was one of those things. Despite not having a studio, Tui and her team were hopeful. They were actively thinking of ways to repitch the series to HBO Max, who actually technically owns the rights to the television aspect of WAF. But because of the strikes, Tui and her team thought it best to wait them out before bringing up the series again, that way everything would settle down. Well, it's been a few weeks since the strikes, and this is the time for Tui and her team to get together and present the show idea to HBO Max. They may wait just a little longer if things had died down and the rush of production slows, but the wait might finally be over soon for the green lighting. Earlier I said we didn't know how far into production they really were. Well, at a fan event in early October I talked about earlier, Tui finally gave us an update. She described the process of making a TV show as being 50 steps. Before the Netflix cancellation, they were around step 15. And when it got cancelled, they were pushed back to step 2. At the time of the event, Tui described them as being on around steps 3 or 4, but, then, but back then the strikes were still going on and everything was a mess. The strikes were a pretty scary time. But they're over and production for things are returning as normally as they can, within the following months everything should be running as smoothly as before. But what does that mean for the Wings of Fire show? Well, Tui did state that her team was waiting out all the chaos. Now that it's over, we're in the prime time for the Wings of Fire TV show to resurface. Those behind it are not willing to give it up, and it's still in talks and they've been doing all they can. I think pretty soon HBO Max is going to be listening to their ideas and series pitch, and there's a very high chance it's going to start early production back up again in the coming months. They may be waiting for the new year and everything there to die down, but I'd say give it around six months, maybe less, before we get another update. Tui and the people she's been working with are really wanting the show to become a possibility. While there still can't be any confirmations due to the original cancellation, let's cross our fingers. Show HBO Max will watch the Wings of Fire series and tell Tui we're rooting for her. This show is going to be great, and I really hope it's brought back to life when the strikes are over. And that's pretty much it for this video. What are your thoughts on this news? Are you excited for the show, or do you still think the chances of its return are slim? Let me know down below. Honestly, if I had to guess at a possible release date, I'm going to say not to expect it until as far back as 2026 or 2027. All the storyboards and concepts have to be reworked from scratch because Netflix legally owns that progress, and their team members were partially responsible for it. I'm not sure what Tui has done to get them on step 3 or 4 without a studio, but I'm sure the team is hard at work, and has been for a while, ready to plan and repitch when the time is right. 
because everything is going to be basically starting from scratch now, it'll be a while. Still, I have no doubt that it'll be worth every second. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.